What's going on, Car Motivators social media followers? This is Sean Kelly, the CarBiz Coach, CEO of Car Motivators, making this video from the Car Motivators home office in St. Louis, Missouri. And I'm really excited to be back home, man. This month has been crazy. We've traveled all over. Uh, myself, one of my coaches, spent an entire week in Las Vegas where we spoke at Rockstar Auto Conference and Digital Dealer. And we had many, many strategic meetings with potential partners. Um, we met with many different vendors in the auto space to figure out, hey, who should we Number one, be coaching. Number two, who should we be teaming up with and, and who adds the most value to our dealerships? Um, and, and that is what we're going to talk about here. But before I do, let me share a story because this is where you're going to get the Mindset Monday, Mindset for Success from, okay? So last week, I had the opportunity to coach an e-commerce e manager. Um, so this guy's in charge of handling all his internet leads for his dealership. And we start coaching around, you know, he was complaining about how he feels like a lot of the leads are bad leads and, you know, he, he can't get a hold of them and things like that. And I ask him, so how are you connecting with them now? And he's like, well, I call them and I email them. And I'm like, what else? He's like, well, every now and then I'll text them. I'm like, well, why don't you text them more? And he's like, well, it might make them mad. You know, it might frustrate the, it might, you know, it might annoy them. And I'm like, okay, well, what other channels of communication are there at your disposal that you may not be using? And we, I kept asking questions and then social media came up. Hence the, by the way, the little picture in the back, right? That's a little, one of those scales, right? <laughs> So um, as you can see on one side, I've got calls and I've got video and then I've also got social media messaging. But I said, what gets in the way of you guys using those channels? Like, well, I wouldn't like it. If someone messaged me on social media, I, I wouldn't appreciate it. And then we started, so, so I said, well, let's weigh the pros and the cons of doing so. All right, let's say we have a hundred customers. All right, let's say you've got a hundred people that you connect with through social media, through texting, or through one of the, the channels of communication that you don't prefer, all right? What percentage of them get mad at you? He's like, I don't know, but less than 5%. I was like, okay, what percentage are happy that you talk to him? And he's like, maybe 50%. I'm like, so the other 45%, he's like, they're probably lukewarm or they don't care. So 50% are appreciative of your value that you, and that you brought by going above and beyond, reaching out. 45% of them are lukewarm, 5% are frustrated. I was like, is that not, you know, when you wait on any customer, isn't that normally the ratio of the people that are happy and not happy and all that anyway? He's like, yeah, more or less. I was like, so so. bottom line is this, guys, weigh the pros and cons of any action or activity that is holding you back from, that, that you need to take, that might be holding you back from success. I, I want to call this, we'll call it the Ben Franklin mindset, all right? But we, we need to weigh the risk and reward and the pros and the cons. That way we can make a good decision based off of logic versus fear. Because if you let fear hold you back, it's only going to prevent you from getting the results you need. And that brings me to the next slide in this little conversation in our Mindset Monday video. And that, my friends, is what has the Ben Franklin mindset. It's allowed car motivators to partner up with the Next Sale app. All right. The Next Sale app is absolutely amazing. And Jason and I have been following each other on LinkedIn. Um, he's the founder and CEO of Next Sale. And I've been asking myself, you know, hey, you know, what good can come of partnering up with this guy? Well, I had to have a little more facts and data. So I was in New Jersey consulting for one of my dealer groups there found out that he was in New York working with Brooklyn Mitsubishi. I do some coaching there. So I drove, I literally drove, I canceled my flight. I drove all the way down, back down from like Connecticut, back down to New Jersey, back down to New York where I got to hang out with Jason G. And after meeting him and checking out his app, holy cow, dealers, if you haven't seen the app, you are, you're missing out. I'm just telling you, you need to check that sucker out. Very, you know, I'm very picky about who I partner with um, before my coaches and myself will team up with someone um, it's got to make sense. So I asked myself, what good can come of, of partnering car motivators and, and the next sale app? All right. What good can come of it? What bad can come of it? Um, I looked at what they did. I made sure it was aligned with my beliefs and my values. I made sure it didn't step on the toes of any of the other vendors I partner with. Um, and then bottom line is this, guys. I realized one thing. What good can come of it? Well, next sale partnering with car motivators equals results okay because bottom line is this when you do people development and you you coach and you you coach around you, your leaders understand accountability and how to develop their people all right and you give them the right tools that they need to succeed and sell cars in 2018 it produces results okay uh, we've our car motivators already proven it time and time again um, my success is not from me my success is when the people I coach get results. And, and that's why I'm able to do what I do and why we have a team of coaches work with dealers across the country. Um, and that's why we have vendors like Next Sale that we have partnerships with um, across the country because guys, 
it makes results. And at the end of the day, if, if whatever I'm doing makes results for the people I coach and the dealers I work with, then it makes sense, all right? If it makes dollars, it makes sense, and that's the deal. So Car Motivators and Nexale have partnered up. Actually, they have made me the president for Nexale in Missouri. So I'm really excited to say that Car Motivators is continuing our mission to bring coaching to the car business and positively impact the leadership landscape of the auto industry. And now we have another amazing tool in our arsenal to do just that in Nexale. Really excited to announce that partnership, my friends. I want you to have that Ben Franklin mindset and always be weighing the pros and cons. If you believe that there's some action or activity you should do, but you're fearful about doing it, okay, just weigh the pros and the cons, look at the facts, and make a good educated decision around that. And you know what? Even if you try it and it doesn't work, look at the facts and the results you get from it, and then if it doesn't make sense, stop doing it. It's that simple. All right, guys, so it's the it's the Ben Franklin mindset. That's your Mindset Monday, Mindset for Success, and also some exciting news I want to share with you guys. So thank you very much. This is Sean Kelly, the Carbis Coach, signing out.